Good afternoon and welcome to next presentation here at Erik Penser Bank. Uh, we are joined this afternoon by Lassi Noponen, who is the co-founder of Loudspring. He will take us through the company in a brief presentation, followed by a question session. Uh, with that said, I hand over the word to you, Lasse. Thank you, and, and thank you for inviting me to this uh, event. It's uh, been a couple of times before I've been here, and I'm happy to tell a little bit about Loudspring and uh, and uh, the big changes that are happening in the company. Uh, can I get um, the next slide, please? For those of who you know Loudspring, uh, we, we have a background as an investment company. We During the 10 years, we have built a, a portfolio of, of early stage investment in the clean tech sector in uh, Finland and Sweden. And, and that has been what we've been doing. But um, since about a year ago, we decided that we will focus on one of our one of our portfolio companies, namely Eagle Filters, and uh, we have acquired 100% uh, ownership of Eagle, and, and we've been divesting the other holdings we have, and, and our plan is to transfer, transform completely into an industrial company, and, and the reason for this is really that the, the financial market and the values-focused industrial companies, companies better than it values portfolios of holdings especially when when uh, companies relatively small like like we are so we are in a process of quickly transitioning into an industrial company and uh, our focus remains the same which is saving natural resources and and reducing carbon dioxide emissions can i get the next slide please i will tell you um now about Eagle Filters, and, 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 and in the end, I will discuss briefly another portfolio company that we still have, which has a lot of value, and that's why it's relevant for you who are interested in Loudspring as an investment opportunity. But anyway, Eagle Filters uh, provides energy efficiency technology to energy industry, and I apologize, that creates like a horrible headline for the slide, but but Eagle makes high performance air filtration products that are used in, in, in gas turbines. They are also used elsewhere, but this is by far the biggest application area. And this may sound a little bit unsexy, but it is quite important from the point of view of reducing carbon dioxide emissions, because Eagle's technology helps cut CO2 emissions where it matters at the source of well, one of the biggest source of these emissions, which is energy utilities. These products um, have only about one to three month payback time for the customer, and uh, and the savings potential globally is is very large. Uh, next slide, please. The the problem. What we are solving is that uh, these um, inefficient air filters cause significant losses annually around the around the world in these utilities. And I will give a little bit of a background that uh, when you have a gas turbine, it costs between something between 200 million and half a billion euros. These are huge installations and. Um, and they come with the um, kind of filters that leave a lot to desire for the quality. And this is because uh, the, the suppliers of these turbines want to have more maintaining jobs, so that there's more cleaning to do in the turbines more often. But after the, after the warranty periods run out, the owners are free to change to high performance filtration, which um, which uh, increase the fuel efficiency up to up to five um, percent, and the capacity overall output of the turbine notably. Can I have the next slide? I think that's uh, I'm a little bit jumping because to the solution. The solution is the high performance filtration that we provide, and uh, this increases 
the figure we have here from our data is that up to 9% and the fuel efficiency up to 5%. And this is really significant numbers because so much of the world's energy is produced by these uh, gas turbines. And on the right, the image you can see these are trend lines of of the uh, the of from the turbines. Uh, the red one is ours, and the blue one is competitive products. You, that is just highlighting the the significance of the the difference. Can I uh, get the next slide, please? There are, of course, a few other companies in the market who make these high uh, performance filters, uh, but our competitive advantage is is especially in certain areas where where there is uh, near the sea, where there is salt in the air, or where there is substances in the air, like outside uh, uh, metropolitan areas, and we are a very we have a very competitive product in the market, and we believe that when Sustainability is everybody's key topic. This is a really low-hanging fruit to get in, to reduce the CO2 emissions by increase the capacity of the turbines without increasing, without wasting the fuel, as as is done now around the world, largely. Um, Eagle is quite uh, technology intensive. We we develop uh, our material all the time and and also selling the material as a separate business line. Can I have the next slide, please? A lot of people will ask that, OK, what is the, how, what is the future of we, we, we need to move away from the fossil fuels? And, and is this something interesting to supply, supply technology to gas turbines? But the um, fact of the matter is that at the moment, Existing gas turbine infrastructure in the world accounts for 20% of the world's electricity, which is a huge, huge number. And if we earlier said that we could increase the fuel efficiency by 5%, that is a lot. And we know that compared to coal, gas is, is, is about 50% less emissions, and it's clearly a transitional fuel when we go to fully renewables. But the main point on this slide is that the gas turbine infrastructure has a future also beyond burning natural gas, because uh, with renewables we can make uh, hydrogen, and hydrogen gas can be burned in the same gas turbine infrastructure as where we're now burning uh, natural gas. So the so this infrastructure will be providing energy for the world even after we have uh, moved away from natural gas. Uh, next slide, please. And Eagle, we are a small company still. We have a, we have a global business and now we have customers in all other continents outside of the South Pole. And, and some of the world's biggest um, energy companies are using our filters and this provides us a really Good opportunity to grow. These these type of companies typically want to test the product first in one turbine, and then they will move by more. And this is the process that we are doing. We have a couple of years ago started a sales company in Dubai. That is um, actually at the moment where the growth comes uh, through that office selling to the area uh, of the world where gas turbines are very many. Next slide, please. Eagle Filters uh, last year made 2 billion euros of revenue. This year we, are, we have announced that we are looking at about 4 billion euro revenue. So we have a, we have a, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, no, that, that's correct. So we are, we have, we are in a very growth right now and we haven't announced our next year's budget but we expect this kind of a very good growth to continue next year and we will put out at some point a company release about where we hope to be able to go and also margin we our 
we are increasingly using our own produced materials, which will uh, lower our cost and increase the, the profit margin. Uh, next slide, please. This uh, was the last slide about our core business, Eagle Filters, the previous one. But because uh, if somebody is interested in Loudspring as an investment target, I want to say a few words about the other company where we have a big ownership, 37%. Uh, and uh, we have announced that we are seeking to exit this, but this will uh, release a lot of resources for us to, to develop our core business. Nuka is a um, software as a service solution for real estate portfolio owners. And it's based in Helsinki and Stockholm, and it's uh, actually its biggest customer is in Sweden, Ica Real Estate, uh, H&M also customer. So it is a good presence here in Sweden. And those of who you follow, property tech is very hot area at the moment. There's a lot happening, and we have a reason to believe that uh, this can be a very valuable asset for us. Can I get the next slide, please? What, what Nuka does, it, it uses artificial intelligence and machine learning in its technology to, to connect buildings to cloud. And uh, modern buildings are equipped with, uh, with lots of sensors. So, so all of these sensors are connected to through cloud to Nuka's platform, uh, which uh, is an artificial intelligence machine learning solution that then can take over and start steering the building to get uh, savings in energy cost, as well as optimal air quality and many things. At the moment, Nuka has about 3,000 buildings in six countries uh, connected, and it's growing really well now every month. Uh, next slide, please. I, I just wanted to show this because this was so powerful when I first saw it, that this is just a this is data from uh, a building, and these are the equipment running the ventilation in a in a building. Uh, on the left side of the red line, you see the how how they were going up and down. Uh, the, the the machines were running not optimally, but when 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 it was connected to the Nuka AI, so without the human hand, the the Nuka algorithms. Uh, stabilized the building and, and this improved significantly the, the air quality and reduced uh, energy consumption. And this is a powerful sale. Um, it's, it's the latest thing on the real estate tech and uh, it's hard for the customer to not be interested in something like this when, when you can, with the help of artificial intelligence, get notable savings and, 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 and almost no investment. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is just a light example results. The city of Helsinki is also Nuka's customer with a thousand buildings. And there you can see some figures of, of the double digit savings in, in electricity, heat, and, uh, uh, and uh, costs of real estate after it's been uh, steered by the AI. Next slide, please. Like I said, Nuka is in a good growth track uh, from every quarter, the quarter onwards. And the pandemic, even during the pandemic, it was able to grow. Of course, it slowed it down. But now, after the pandemic, uh, acute phase has gone. It really has picked up, and and it targets 100% SaaS growth uh, yearly. And um, like I said, for Loudspring, this is something that where we look forward to. Uh, releasing resources to invest into this industrial filtration business. Next slide. Uh, finally, about Loudspring, uh, so, to summarize, um, we provide technology to cut emissions to where the world's largest CO2 sources are. And uh, we have many of the world's largest energy utilities already as customers. And it's a good platform for scaling up. Since we announced that we will become an industrial company, we will also simplify our company structure and, and have just one board and one management team. 
So, so this will reduce in lower cost and, uh, and reduction of overheads. Uh, then we have a valuable asset in Nuka, where we can um, free resources. And all of this, in our opinion, is that if you look at our share price, now is a good time to consider buying uh, last week shares, because there's a lot of upside with this strategy. Next slide, please. And this was the conclusion of my uh, presentation. We are listed in the Stockholm First North. Uh, uh, Eric Penzer Bank, uh, Penzer Access uh, writes analysis on us. Also Finnish Analyst House Interest. And uh, then I'm happy to have your questions if, if there are any. Thank you. Thanks for a great presentation. Uh, I was wondering first, primarily, we could maybe discuss uh, Nuka because you mentioned, of course, that the market is, is growing exceptionally fast right now. And this is also a picture, I believe, that is shared by, by other actors in the field of prop tech. Could you elaborate a bit on the market growth currently? Just how strong is the growth and, and what do you think we can expect going forward? Well, we, if I remember right, our, I do sit in the Nunca board, so I should, we are aiming to, to, to get to a, um, trajectory, which is six or 7% per month growth in the SaaS. And uh, we are very close to that now. And we really see what where we can see next year and year forward. Th this is the speed we believe we can do. And, and that results in quite attractive numbers annually. And, and what I can say is that, I mean, we have had Nuka for many, many years and it has really pivoted. It, it, it used to do like reports to the uh, to the customer. They could do a, analyze the building and give a report. Please, please make this change, make that change, and it will improve. And that was kind of a hard sell. But this this auto AI run tool is an easy sell. You know, Nuka. I think we put this on our release that during the last quarter, Nuka signed more new deals than during the three previous quarters. And uh, it's of course partially because of the pandemic, but it's also because this new product is, is, is what customers want. And uh, there is a lot of companies a prop tech field. It's, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be happening like mergers and acquisition, acquisition scale ups and, uh, and those kind of things uh, in the near, nearest next couple of years. And I think that we have a valuable piece into that uh, a consolidation, which is uh, happening. And there's been some IPOs announced, and, and we know that we were contacted about these uh, consolidations like almost every every second week. All right, that sounds interesting. Uh, and I was wondering then if we could uh, address the, the core in your company in, in Eagle. Uh, and you mentioned that you uh, expect some growth looking forward, and, and, and you showed uh, uh, the potential in all these various markets. Uh, could you elaborate on are there any particular markets that stand out in terms of growth expectations, or is it a, a general growth trend that we can see uh, on all these markets? Well, it's a good question. It's um, first of all, it's a little also driven by if gas turbines are are being run, and now that the the emission uh, rights value have gone up much more gas turbines are operating than, than uh, let's say, a year and a half ago. So th then it's, um, there can, was times when, for example, in Europe, the gas turbines were not running, but now with the like energy price looming, they are running. And of course there's a demand for the, for the product. But, but in general, I would say that the big fleets of gas turbines are are also outside Europe, Middle East, Russia, South America, certain parts of Asia, uh, you know, it's Israel. It's these are countries where we sell, and since we are so small, yet it's uh, if a one significant utility, let's say in the Middle East, rolls out our products, uh, we can. It can be significant growth. I, I think our material says that we can we can we could over tenfold our revenue if we were able to sell our product to all turbines 
of our existing customers. Because if you have, let's say, 10, you, you buy a new product into one and you test it uh, for a couple of years before you decide if you're going to put it on all of them. All right, thank you. And lastly, you recently announced that you're uh, uh, raising capital. Uh, could you elaborate a bit on how uh, this money will be used? Is it to invest in uh, portfolio companies or uh, any so which investments will you be carrying out? Well, it's, uh, like I said, we, uh, we, we will not be talking about portfolio companies. We are an industrial company and uh, any money we, we raise we, we use into our business which is the industrial filtration business and uh, we also have said that we want to make capacity increases in the eco filters production which is where the the uh, money went that we raised and uh, once we get uh, freed capital from other holdings then that those will be also used to develop this uh, this filtration and, and filtration materials business all right, perfect. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.